Okay, here are the parts of the center board uh, right off the machine. I was able to get the um, little filler piece as well as the, um, the handle, the end stock, out of my same blank that I glued up. Um, and the machine cut all these parts out. I haven't even, uh, I haven't done anything to them, but uh, barely touched them with a sanding block. And um, you could see those index pins on the machine, and so there's the joint line. Uh, between the two sides of the uh, machined board and you really can't feel that you can just see it so those indexing pins are really good at um, aligning the two uh, sides when I flip the board over and you can see the tooling marks left over by the um, by the router bit I was using and um, I left about a about an eighth of an inch on the trailing edge I've got about 0.13 uh, thickness on my trailing edge all the way down and the leading edge is pretty square at the moment because of my step over size of my bit so I'll have to round that over by hand but that's fairly easy to do so what I'm going to do next is uh, glue this uh, uh, handle piece onto the top of the center board and uh, glue this little block in and then the board will be ready for the final shaping uh, and then glassing and uh, I'll also be filling in my pivot pin hole with epoxy and that'll get drilled out uh, so that there'll be an epoxy bushing and um, the machine cut out this hole as well so I didn't want this uh, video to be a how to shape your centerboard video um, I just don't have time to hand shape the centerboard this time uh, and there's other resources out there for uh, for learning how to uh, shape a center board. Okay, that's the end of the centerboard rough assembly, and next we'll uh, give it a final shaping and fiberglassing. And you'll notice that I didn't put any sc screws in the end of the um, piece of wood here to hold it into the centerboard. It just doesn't need it with the fiberglass that's going on the outside. It'll have plenty of strength, and so there's no need for additional fasteners.